So welcome to an hour of power yoga. We will flow, we will have fun and allow yourself to take a child's pose when you need to. I want you to be honest with yourself, to always remind yourself that it's okay to take a child's pose. And I know I get excited in these classes and I'm not able to see you uh, in the physical body, but I'm with you in the spirit. Yeah? Let's come to the mat in child's pose. We start this hour of power yoga class in child's pose. Bring the big toes to touch. Bring the hips towards the heels. A little bit of hip opener here. So maybe the knee is further apart. Reach the hands forward. Be, be Exaggerate the hands reaching forward. And maybe start to push your hip towards the heels and reach your hands forward. I am on my tip of my fingers as that also opens my shoulder. I want you to now lengthen the spine and allow your head, maybe it comes on the mat. So as you do this pose, notice where your hip is touching your heels and maybe start to spread your fingers and push the fingers into the mat and push your lower lumbar as you draw your hips towards the back. Your shoulders start to activate here and allow your head to come onto the mat and stretch out. With every outgoing breath, I want you to now close your eyes and connect. Set an intention for your practice. Allow yourself to notice your breath as equally notice what the first thing that comes to mind. For me, all day, I've been thinking, how can you be great? How can you be great? You become great by starting. You don't, you know, you can stay in your bed and say, oh, I wish I could do yoga. I wish I could be more flexible. I wish I could heal my body. So how can you heal your body when you don't start? Just a fruit for thought. So as you have it, I want you to slowly roll yourself into your tabletop. Adjust that the knee is underneath the hip and float the right leg all the way to the back of the room. Lengthen the spine, rotate ankle clockwise and counterclockwise direction. Slowly bring that right knee on the mat. Take the left leg back, lengthen the spine, and rotate the ankles as well. Notice your shoulder, notice your lower back. As you have it, bring the left knee on the mat. Tuck the toes under, float the knee off the mat and come into floating table. So spread your hands about shoulder width apart. Find that length, inhale, take the left leg all the way to the sky. So again, allow your shoulders to relax. Maybe you pause the leg up, exhale the left leg down. Inhale, float the right leg up. Maybe you pause it again. I want you to check in. Your shoulders here, exhale down. Inhale, look between the hands. Step the left leg in between the hands. Lower the right knee on the mat. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Notice the front of the hip now. Bending that left knee, allowing your shoulders to relax. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Inhale, we're gonna stretch out that left leg, draw the toes towards the face, half split, lengthen the spine. Breathe in, take the moment to really feel your calf, also feel your hamstring. Bend the left leg, tuck the right leg under, inhale, rise up into your high lunge, crescent lunge. Notice in your breath, exhale the hands to the mat, frame the front foot, look forward, and come into a wide-legged pyramid pose. Finding that length, stretch out, notice your shoulder, breathe in. We're still warming up. And as you have it, bend the left leg, and then float the right leg back, and come into a warrior three variation. Keep your hands on the mat. 
I want you to lengthen the spine. Maybe you point toes or you flex toes. What do you feel more comfortable in? Exhale, step the right leg back and float the left leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. Relax the head, relax the shoulder, and come into your three-legged plank. Finding that length. Exhale, lower the left leg down, coming into plank. Notice your breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stretch out those calves, noticing your breath. Inhale forward into plank. Vinyasa, yogi push-up. Elbow, hug the rib cage. Look forward, belly pulls in. Upward facing dog. Top of the legs on the mat. Look at your shoulders. Draw them away from the ears. Look to the right side and breathe. Inhale, back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, find your breath and bring your forearm on the mat. Allow your head to release, allow your shoulders to release. Again, you can take child's pose if it's getting too much, but stay committed. Find that length, find the breath. Inhale, come back into those hands, downward facing dog, and float the right leg up. Exhale, right leg in between the hand, quietly. Left knee on the mat, release the top of that left leg. Then inhale, rise up, low lunge. Notice the front of that hip on the side and extend those hands all the way up. Bring the rib cage in, relax the face, relax the shoulder. As you exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Inhale, look forward, find your breath on that hip. As you exhale, Straighten the right leg, half split. Notice your shoulder. Notice where you're holding tension. You can always move that right leg a bit more forward. Lengthen the spine. With every outgoing breath, connect. Taking a big breath here. Yeah? Inhale, step on the right leg. Tuck the left leg under. Inhale, rise up into your high lunge, crescent lunge. Notice in that left leg, push the left leg back, open through the heart center. Maybe you look up, exhale the hands to the mat. Inhale, look forward. Now hop your left leg a little bit in, wide-legged pyramid pose, and allow your shoulders and square the hip here. If you're feeling tight, make sure you're breathing in and out. I want you to start to let go. Taking a big breath in, bend the right leg, look forward, place the hands on the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg up and allow that left leg to extend. The crown of the head reaches forward, open through the back body. You can point toes, you can flex toes. Find that length, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Let left leg to the mat rather than the hands to the mat. Push into those hands and take the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Squaring the hip, finding that length. Inhale, come back into three-legged plank. Finding that strength in the core. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Breathe in. Stay here for a moment. Shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Vinyasa, yogi push-up. Do you notice any difference? Upward facing dog. Top of the legs on the mat, lengthen the front body. Shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Right away, bring the forearm on the mat. Don't even think about it. If it's too much, you drop to your knees and take a child's pose. Lengthen the spine. And breathe in. Inhale here, lengthen those calves, straighten the legs as much as you can, hitting those thighs back. Take a big breath in, inhale, come back into the hands. One and two, or all the way up, lengthen. Downward facing dog. Let's have a little bit of fun. Inhale, take the left leg up. I want you to rotate the hip and bend the left leg. Look through the left armpit, neck is long. Find your breath. Exhale, left leg in between the hand. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Finding your breath, we're moving, we're going for it. Exhale, the hands to the mat. 
Now inhale, lift the right leg up, standing split. Notice in your breath. Exhale the right leg to meet with the left. And want you to bend the knee and sit in your chair pose, that imaginary chair. Legs are hugging inward, tailbone under. Try to bring your heels down. Breathe in, body upright, rib cage in. Exhale, forward fold, give thanks. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, broaden through the back body. Flatten the hands on the mat, either step back or jump back, Taranga Dandasana. Elbow, hug the rib cage now, breathe in. Inhale, want you to power through and come up into plank. Yes, you are great. Lower down. Elbow, hug the rib cage. Upward facing dog. Top of that leg on the mat. Tie bone lift. Breath. Exhale. Back into your downward facing dog. Like nothing happened. Now, remember this is yoga. Exhale. Forearm on the mat. And allow yourself to breathe your legs back. Maybe one day the heels come down. Just continue working on your breath. Shoulders, especially my tight shoulder friends, my tight calf muscle friends, here is for you. Just breathe into the pose and allow yourself to lengthen. Taking a big breath in. We have short time, but a long journey to go. Come back into our downward facing dog. Right side, inhale, take the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip, and look through the right armpit. Lift that right leg up, lengthen the spine. Shoulder away from the ears, be proud where you are. Then exhale, bring that right leg in between the hand quietly, and rise. High lunge, crescent lunge. Open through that back leg, open the heart, sink in. Feel your shoulder, exhale the hands down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, standing split. I always find that yoga is humbling because you might think, oh, I'm super flexible. But when you look at the video, you start to really realize that, wow, I have a long way to go. But guess what? We are great because we started the journey. Bring the left leg to meet with the right. Bend the knee, legs are together. Sit a little bit lower and rise, chair pose with katasana. Those gluteus maximus get a nice work here. Continue to breathe here, lengthen, hug those knees together, they're not together, and allow your shoulders to drop away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold, uttanasana. Let it go. Inhale, look forward, plant the hands on the mat, bend the knee, you can either step back or jump back. We jump back, you land in Chitaranga Dandasana. Elbow, hug the ribcage. Stay here. Commit. And then inhale, lift on up. Bravo. Excellent. Inhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open through the back body. Don't collapse on the back. Come back into plank. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Exhale, press back. Downward dog. Finding your breath. We just started. Here we go. Left leg reach up. Open the knee. Bend the knee. Find that length. Like a ping pong ball, you're going to bring that left leg in between the hands. Rise up, warrior. What a wild thing. Open through the front body. As a ping pong, you're going to bring that left leg back up. Exhale, knee to nose, and drop it in between the hand. Inhale, rise up. High lunge. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Finding that breath movement and breath goes together. Exhale, right leg meets to the left and rise. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Legs are hugging inward. Tailbone scoops under, body is upright. Take a big breath in that same left leg. We transfer the weight to the right leg. Hands reach back and rise. Warrior three, like a ping pong, ping pong thick ball. <laughs> Finding the length, left leg down, inhale, rise up. High lunge on this side. Exhale the hands to the mat and float the right leg back. Downward dog. Shake the head, yes. 
Remind yourself, I am great. Inhale, roll forward into your plank, high plank. Find that length, yogi, push up, elbow, hug the rib cage, stay for one, two, three. Inhale, power through those hands and come back into plank. You got it. You can always drop to your knees. Lower down. One, two, three. Inhale, upward dog. Top of the legs on the mat. Finding that breath. Shoulder away from the ears. Back into plank. Just ease out the back body. Take a big breath here. Exhale, press into your downward facing dog. Shake the head. Yes. Let me know you're still with me. Inhale, float the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Remember, you can just stop here. But if it's a ping pong for you, you're gonna bring that right leg behind the left one. Inhale, rise up while thin. Open through the front of the hip. Open through the chest and the shoulder. Find that length. Exhale, the right hand comes down. Inhale, right leg reach high. Exhale, the knee to nose, rounding through the back body. Right leg in between the hand, high lunge it is. Find the length, find your breath, find those hips. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift on up. Standing, split your body, your breath. Exhale, bring the left leg to me with the right. You got it. Chair pose, Uttanasana. Noticing your body's upright, tailbone under. Maybe you roll left and right, finding that length like a ping pong exhale bring yourself back as you drop the right leg back warrior three variation extend through that left leg breathe in and breathe out shoulder drawing away from the ears belly rib cage in and then exhale right leg down inhale rise do you feel that warmth that wave of warmth exhale the hands down and take the left leg back into our lovely plank. Here we go for three. Lower down. Hold for one, two, and three. Inhale up. You got it. It's easier now. Lower one, two, three. Inhale up. Commitment is key. Last one. One, two, and three. Upward facing dog. The hip is like, yes, I got it. Breathe into the shoulder. Allow yourself to examine. Are they coming away from the ears? Did they have a smile and come back into plank? Just ease at the back, lengthen the spine, lower your right leg on the mat, bring the left leg flat on the mat, open the hip, finding your breath, inhale the left hand reach high, shoulders are open, that's so important, left hand reach across, taking a big breath in. The left leg has a voice, so make the left leg come flat on the mat, Breath in, option one. You're gonna bring that right leg out like a fallen triangle on the mat. You for that to go, you lift it up. That's the intention here. I want you to stay committed, stay with your breath. Stay with your shoulders here. Let your body lift on up. Exhale back now into your regular plank. Left leg, stack on top of the right. Open up, breathe in. Find your core, find your face. Is it sweated? Yes, my is. And lengthen with a big smile on your face. Exhale the left hand down. And press into downward dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. We got it, two. Inhale, up. One, upward facing dog. Finding that length, finding your breath. Exhale, press back into your downward facing dog. Inhale forward into a plank. Left knee on the mat, side plank variation. And take the right hand all the way forward. Palm facing the earth. The shoulders are still smiling. Back is flat, not a Beyonce here. Push on the right leg, lengthen the spine. Pick up, fine breath. Push into this left thumb and index finger. Engage the left side of the body and float the left leg forward into your fallen triangle now there's so many ways to go into the fallen triangle don't you worry you can lift that left leg up for a little bit more challenging but stay committed with your breath push into this left hand thumb and index finger open through the side body right hand down 
exhale come back into side plank on this side continue to work with your breath continue to lift the head that way it's in alignment with the shoulder breathe in exhale right hand down here we stay committed bring the left hand alongside the left body and extend that left shoulder imagine you only have one hand taking a big breath in and a big breath out left leg in between the hand notice that left hand push on the right leg spin the right leg open the hip i don't have the left hand anymore push on the right leg and charge your right hand and come up keep that left hand behind you and just check in how can you balance yourself in this awkward warrior two looking forward as if you're drawing that shoulder down so all my tight shoulder friends you can feel as i draw that left hand underneath you exhale the right hand down push into the right hand lengthen the spine charge the body and float the left leg on top of the right one side plank like a ninja opening through the upper body breathe in and release the left hand on the mat and come into plank yogi push up inhale upward facing dog downward facing dog i want you to bend the knee look between the hand charge your legs forward malasana like a ping pong open through the heart don't you worry we have the other side to do breath in feel your shoulder feel your length Find the exhale, press the hands down, step or jump back to Taranga. Stay low, upward facing dog. Finding your breath, back into downward facing dog. Just ease out on the back. Taking a big breath in. Audible breath out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale forward into plank. That right hand comes alongside the body. Like you have no right hand, call it, call it three-legged, three-handed, you know, plank. Find your breath. Give it a name, three-handed plank. Noticing your breath, noticing your legs, noticing the strength on your core. One more breath. Step the right leg to the left hand. Stay here while shrugging that shoulder away from the ears. Stay committed. You got it. Taking a big breath and pivot the left leg. 60 degrees on the mat. All of us knows a warrior two. A good warrior two is good. Right knee is bent. Left leg is 60 degrees. We're going to inhale. Lift that left hand. And come into that variation of warrior two. My left palm is facing down. My shoulder is off the ear. I draw the shoulder and I sink in. And with a big smile, you hold it there. And engage those core. Bend the right leg. You feel your left leg working. You feel your right leg working. How are we doing? Breathe in, smile at the right shoulder, let it come down. Find your length, inhale, exhale. The left hand, cartwheel it back down. Inhale, look forward. We're gonna release on the left side, side plank, like nothing happened. And take the right hand off this time. Breathe in, pick up the head, and allow yourself to lengthen through those hands. As you look at the right hand, it allows you to pick the head up. Engage the core, breath. Exhale, the right hand down. Here we go, two of these lovelies. One, a two, upward facing dog, downward dog. Right away, bend the knee, look to the outside of the hands, jump forward. Malasana, I love yoga. I love yoga, not only just the challenge it gives me, but the challenge to move my body in this way. Take a big breath in. Lower your hip down and come into Navasana. Bent knee easy, straight legs a little bit harder. My friends, we got a long way, but a short time. Take a big breath in. I want you to bend the knee, lift on up into your tabletop. Adjust the hands if you need to. Breathe in and out, lift those hips. Find the front of the hip, find your shoulder. Maybe the head goes back. Then inhale here, roll to the hip and lift the legs up, finding that length, finding the breath. Now, we're gonna come back into that malasana as the prayer squad. So we're gonna bring the legs and the hands overhead and roll up into malasana. Have a tight space here. 
Take a big breath in. Open the hip. Open the shoulder. Plant the hands on the mat. Bring the knee towards the armpit. Finding that length. Finding the breath and lift on up. Send the legs back. Chaturanga Dandasana. The only faith. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Are you still having fun? That is the key. Inhale, roll yourself forward into plank. We got it, but we got to do 10,000 hours for us to get there. Inhale, left hand, reach alongside the body. Push on that right hand, engage the core. Bring the left leg to meet with the right leg. Keep the left hand where it is. Right hand stays. Inhale, lift the right leg up. So now you don't have the left hand and you're doing a reverse half moon. How may you try? You're going to try to square the hip because you don't want to look like a scorpion or a pretzel. And allow yourself to pull from the navel. Inhale, we're going to drop that right leg back down like nothing happened. Keep that left hand where it is and rise up into the warrior two variation. Lengthen the spine. Yoga is for everybody. Take a big breath in, peaceful warrior. Keep that left hand where it is and look up. Oh, my left hand is saying, thank you for giving me a break. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back, warrior two. Exhale the hands to the mat. Push the right hand into the mat. Stagger the right leg underneath and bring the left leg on top, side plank. Taking a big breath in. And a big breath out. Exhale the left hand down. Plank, yogi push up. Upward facing. Downward facing. Right away, bend the knee. Look to the outside of the hand and jump forward. My last night, take your time. Open the hip. Open the shoulders as well. Exhale, bring your bum C on the mat bottom. And lift up, Navasana, bent knee easy. Oh, straight leg, a little bit challenging, why not? Find your breath, we're gonna come back in the same fashion we went in, into Malasana. So hands are gonna reach overhead, like it's a day in the park. Legs over, find that breath, and bring yourself back. Malasana, like nothing happened. Only your breath, and, and it's just a gentle movement, okay? Place the hands on the mat. Bring that knee towards the armpit like a ping pong. We're being a ball today. Finding that length, finding your balance. Step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Finding the downward facing dog. I love yoga. Shake the head if you agree. I love yoga. Breathe in and breathe out. Let it go. Remember, you have a child's pose is available to you. Finding the length wherever you are and breathe quietly and effortlessly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come into your plank. Engage the core and then take the right hand back. They can rest on your lower back. It's okay. Push into those right fingers and reach it back. Think as if I've come to pull your right hand out. You feel that stretch and your head is reaching forward. Your core is like, oh, lovely. Find your breath, inhale. We're gonna bring the right leg to the left hand. Find that length. So the right hand is charging back like the left leg. Then inhale, lift the left leg. Keep the right hand to the back. Square the hip, reverse half moon. It changes the dynamics of the pose. Shrug the shoulder away from the ears. Lift the left leg a little higher. And breathe into your belly and draw rib cage in. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Mindfully with awareness. Keep the right hand where it is. And then inhale, our warrior two variation. Extend it through those hands. Draw the shoulder down, open. Keep that right knee bent. Keep the left leg active. Look at the right hand, a little smile, just for us, and breathe. Left hand down. Keep the right shoulder down and look up to the skies and the heavens and open your heart. Where is that greatness? The greatness is just showing up. Just showing up is one resource to practicing yoga. Finding your breath, lengthen the spine. Come back, warrior two. 
shoulder away from the ears, bend that right leg, find that length, exhale the left hand to the mat. Breathe in, left leg reach back, draw the left outer edge of that left foot on the mat for side plank and take the right leg to meet with the left. Finding that breath, right hand reach high, open. Find your shoulder, exhale, right hand down. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, bend the knee, you know the drill. Look to the outside of the hand. Jump forward, step forward, malasana. Prayer is the king. Open. Showing up is self-care. Finding that breath, open the hip, find length. Lower the bum, sit down. Reach the hands forward. Navasana, malasana rather than, um, Navasana, malasana is the prayer squat. Straighten the legs if you, and open. Are you ready to have some fun? Hands are gonna reach like you're going in a park. Legs are gonna follow. And then come back into malasana. Find your breath, find your shoulder. Just start to quiet here. Exhale, bring the hands down, lift the bum seat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Peace finger, wrap around the big toe. Paragustasana rather than Uttanasana. Lengthen, drawing those bum seat to the sky. Exhale, fold. Elbow display to the side. Are you still having fun? Relax the head. Yes and no. Shoulder, breath, inhale, look forward, lengthen, exhale, release the hand. Now, widen your legs just a tad bit. Maybe all of that mat, your legs are to it. Bring the hands open, interlace the hand. Bend the knee generously. Find your knuckles, bring them together. So maybe a little uh, contortion movement here. But the knees bent. And then draw knuckles down, release the head. Shake the head, yes, I am great. Affirming and believing that you are great. And from here, you're going to start to work. Again, be patient with yourself to straighten your legs. Maybe they are straight. It's a hamstring lover, not a fighter. Why would you want to fight? Oh, change your thumb around. Relax the head one more time. Stretch out the leg, hug the knee, and breathe. Exhale, release the hands on the mat. Inhale, look forward, hands on the mat. Bend the knee, keep the legs where it is. Knee bend, elbow bend, and then bring your knee towards your armpit. If it's sweaty, they're gonna slide. Find breath, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right away, bring the left leg in between the hand. Inhale, rise up, half moon. So I want you to be cognizant. How much weight are you having on the left hand now that you have a left hand? You're gonna wrap your right hand across and catch the left thigh and open the hip. More extend that right leg, more activate. We no longer have a right hand because we have interlaced it and catch the left thigh. If you're not able to do this, you can catch your shirt. You're going to bend that left leg. You're going to rise back up into the left hand, warrior two. Notice your shoulder. How is the right shoulder doing? We're going to give you the same love. And open. Left hand reach back, peaceful warrior. So use your right hand open through that left thigh. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Again, adjust, maybe this is the, what we need. Pull on that left thigh. Go it, it, don't give me a Beyonce, but reach forward, reach down. Inhale, open. So as you draw the right shoulder, I want you to look up to the sky or to the sun, beyond the ceilings. More activate that right leg, more open. Taking a big breath in. Come back, look down, bend the left leg and release the right hand to the mat. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. 
Inhale, forward into plank. Yogi push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment. Take a big breath in. Bend the knee. Look inside the hands. I want you to hop in. Cross the leg. Then inhale, lift on up. Navasana. Like I said, there's so many ways to make that lovely kale salad. Uh, finding that breath. This time I want you to lower your lower back on the mat. Lower back on the mat. Just get that stretch. Hands are going to reach overhead like we're in the park. Legs to the hands. Finding your breath. And then inhale back into Malasana. Just have an open mind. It's okay if you, you're crawling, you're walking. There is no judgment. We're not perfect. Place the hands on the mat. Inhale. Bakasana. Just try. Even if you're slipping and sliding, you're trying. Step back or jump back. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Bravo. Downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. Inhale. Bring that right leg in between the hand right away. Inhale, rise up, half moon. Stack the left leg on top of the right. Inhale, the left hand back and catch the right thigh if you can. Open through the right hand and lift through the left leg. Hug your knee in as opposed to locking the knee. Push on your right big toe, your drishti, the focal point is important. I am great. Finding that length, bend the right leg now. Land softly on the right leg. Badra Badrasana too. Our variation. Open. Your right shoulder has a smile of its own. So make sure you smile and the left leg has a smile. And find your rib cage. Draw it in. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Noticing that right hand as the left hand rather. And open through that right hip. Finding that length. Face is relaxed. Smile is great. Come back. Warrior two. Adjust the leg if you need it. A little cha cha. Straighten the right leg. Hop the left leg in 60 degrees. Reach the right hand forward and down. Trikonasana, opening through that right leg. So think as if I've come behind you while you're giving me Beyonce. Rather, give me a yogi. Back is flat. Shoulder draws away from the ears. And you look up. You pick your head up and you look up to the sky. Find your right foot. Lengthen the spine and then bend the right leg. Unravel the left hand as you touch down on the mat. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, step the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank, yogi push up. Upward facing, downward facing. Inhale, look between the hand, bend the knee. We're going to take it in steps. One day we, step, we start to jump into Navasana. Inhale, jump towards the wrist. And then release the hips and straighten the legs. So one day we, we start to do it where we just jump in through like in Ashtaranga. Press the hands, legs on the mat. Legs behind you. Inhale, lift those bumps. In. Noticing your hands, noticing your shoulder. Pull the belly in. Finding that length. Lower the bum C on the mat. Inhale, left. Navasana, boat pose. Mimic the perfect boat. Place the hands on the mat. Place the hands on the mat. Inhale, left. Woo, tabletop. Lower the hip down. Navasana. Don't run through the back. Lift the sternum. Be proud of where you are. Lower the legs. Lower the hands. Navasana. Finding your breath. Right ankle on top of the left knee. Opening. Finding that flex leg. It's also a pigeon pose. Finding your breath. Release the hip. Send the legs up. Navasana. Legs straight. A little bit harder. And then start to release on the lower back. Find the length. Activate the legs. Breathe in. Inhale, roll forward as I struggle into your Navasana. I love you guys. Very humbling. Exhale, place the hands on the mat. Inhale, back into tabletop. Are you still having fun? Just not smiling. Bring the left ankle on top of the right one. 
Breathe our heel open through the chest. Smile through the hips. Everything will be okay. Place the left foot on the mat. Lower the bum. See right away. Inhale, left. Navasana. Lower halfway down. And we're going to pat it down. Finding that low boat for 10. Get happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. I want to say six, 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 six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the right knee in and then roll yourself up and come into your seated tree. Right leg towards the perineum. Square the hip. Hands reach up. Right hand behind you. Inhale, lift this front hip. Open. Finding that length. Exhale, bring the hip down. Hands reach up and we fold. Finding your breath. Connecting, releasing, letting go. Inhale, hands reach up, right leg to the left one, lengthen the spine. Make sure you're sitting tall, ribcage in, exhale. Pashimatasana, seated forward fold, lengthen, exhale fold. Relax the head, engage those legs, back of the knee on the mat, lengthen and fold. So this is what you would do if you were standing, isn't it? So the same straight leg looking towards the toes it's amazing inhale hands reach up hands behind you take tabletop or reverse plank so prepare inhale push and left big toes touching the mat finding that length inhale exhale lower the hip down bring the left leg towards the perineum square the hip Flex the right leg, left hand reaches back, inhale, open the front hip. Oh, yum. How great is yoga? How great are you showing up to the mat? Exhale, lower the hip down. Inhale, reach hands up, square the hip. Exhale, forward fold. More lengthen, more fold, more fold, more breathe. It's a forward looking pose, back of that knee is on the mat. Lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, hands reach up. Bring the left leg to meet with the right one. Lengthen, rib cage in, dandasana. Exhale, forward fold. Catch the legs, lengthen once more, and fold. Start to release the neck, the shoulder. Inhale, release both hands all the way up. Finding up. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Place the foot on the mat. Inhale, lift on up. Reverse plank. Belly engage. Tricep engage. Legs on the mat. Ankle get a good stretch. Now bring your hip towards your, your, your hands and then lift the legs up. Keep the hands on the mat lower. Inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold one, lower down, and release. Now from here, I want you to cross the legs, cross the legs, Find the right ankle on top of the left one. Breathe in as you reach the hands all the way up. Yoga is so lovely. Bring the hands forward. Rotate the ankle. Uh, or the wrist and the ankle. It, it served as the ankle as well, but today is the wrist. <laughs> Find your breath. Find your shoulder, just be in love with your wrist, thanking it for all it's done for you. Now spread the palm, 
the heels of the pound. Now I want you to round the back. Think about cat and cow. As we lift, we stretch out, open, and a little smile. I want you to close your eyes now. Remind yourself that you showed up. That means you are great. And then round in the back. Remember, it's like a cat and cow. Inhale as you open. I want you to smile. It's okay. And then round in here, pushing those hands, feeling your wrist, your back. Inhale, left. Mm. Round in here. Finding your neck, your shoulder. Inhale, left, arm up. Release those hands. You're going to bring your right hand to your left ears. Try to touch your ears. Your right head, your head, or the, your rather, the right side of the head goes to the right elbow as you pull. Think about that lovely left hand. I want you to draw it behind you. And maybe you catch the left, rather the right hip, and open those swings. Yoga. Yoga and breath goes together. Yoga and breath. Release the right hand. Release the right hand on the mat. Inhale, the left hand reach up. Catch your right ears. Give it a massage if you need it. And your left side of the head is going to go to the groove of the elbow. Because you trust your hand, yeah? And then open. The right hand is going to wrap around. Maybe you catch the left thigh. Maybe you catch a shirt. The key here is to draw shoulder down. And release the neck mindfully. Find your breath. So important to really connect to the home base. Inhale. Release that left hand. Reach those hands out. And then I want you to lift the left leg. Bring it inward like a windshield wiper, but with a bent knee. Open the heart. We're going to reach the left hand forward. Forward to where the right hand is. Look forward, lengthen. And then allow, notice how both the left hip starts to rise. And allow yourself to lengthen, sort of a modified pigeon. Breathe into the back body. From here, we start to turn the left leg in and come onto the knee. And then bring the right left leg up, lengthen that left calf. Notice your shoulder. And then roll to the right hip and bring the left knee back inside. Hands reach up, catch opposite elbow. Then we're going to inhale, lift the left hip and roll it down. Inhale, lift the left hip and roll it down. Inhale, left hip, roll it down. Let's do two good ones. One, and this is two. Stay on the two, reach the right hand out. Use your left hand, open the hip. Finding the breath here. Finding your shoulder. Stretch out the right hand and start to lift the right leg out. Open through the side body. Take a big breath in. Lower the right leg back down. Lower the left knee down. And from here, we're going to switch side. Bring the left leg in and bring the right leg out. Inhale, hands reach up. We're going to reach the hand to the left side. Finding that length, drawing as if I've come and I'm massaging the right hip as such. So lengthen, breathe, flex the left leg. And then from here, we're going to slowly draw that right leg, rotate into the right knee and stretch out. Notice that my left leg is towards my perineum, open through the shoulder. More lengthen, more breathe, more breathe, more fine space. Exhale, release, back down. The right knee, you're inside that right knee. Hands reach up. 
Reverse the catch, catch opposite elbow and lengthen the spine. From here, you're gonna try to lift. One, we're gonna do five. And then at the last, we do two good ones. So a total of seven, three, just take your time, four and five. And then two good ones, inhale up, Body is upright, two, hold two, release the left hand, bring the right hand, open those hips, allow yourself to feel this hip, finding that shoulder away from the ears, and from here you're gonna push on the left hand, and the left leg follows and lift. Just feel that grind, yeah? It's like a massage. So some of these, I want you to lengthen. Release on the bumsy. Bumsy hips, hands switch all the way up and lay yourself down. Finding your breath. So prepare yourself for either a headstand or a shoulder stand, yeah? So from here, you're gonna roll the legs overhead, support the back body, make sure your legs can touch the mat. And then when they, they do, interlace the hand, draw the knuckles down. So we're, I mean, shoulder stand, if you have a handstand practice, by all means. So not only that you feel a great stretch, the neck is long. Then when you have it, inhale, lift the legs up. Shoulder stance. I am in shoulder stance as I, yeah? So make sure you're not collapsing as, as I am. I want you to inhale, lift the legs up and squeeze those bumpsy. You can take any play, you can take eagle leg, you can play. Similarly, if you're going to come out, come out mindfully and take fish pose. Yeah? Open through the chest and reach the hands maybe forward for kingfish. Release back on the mat and then slowly lay yourself down. So if you did shoulder, great. If you did headstand, do a child's pose. So from here, I want you to make sure you can touch your heels. Then inhale, lift the hip just to adjust the back. Such a great pose, bridge pose. You can take it into wheel. Wherever you are, just release your back. One, two, push on those big toe. Three, four, I want you to release down on the mat and lift your legs up. Release the hands by the side and release right away. Shavasana, one hand on the heart, one on the belly, and just feel the breath in and out. Close your eyes. Just check in. How are you? How are you? How am I? Who am I? Where am I? They might not have an answer, but just taking an inventory. Who am I? Where am I? Where are you going? What are you doing? All these questions, we might not have an answer, but the key is that we start to slow down we start to be in the present moment and allow yourself to completely relax right away. Take a moment of silence to check in with yourself with that intention that you have set in the beginning of the class. Mm.
be present. Release those things that no longer serve you. And just allow yourself with this wind chime, it's quiet everything. Wherever you are now, stretch out, hug your knee to your chest, just give yourself joy, gratitude, grace for coming in onto the mat. Love on your inner self, love your outer self. Roll over to one side and press yourself to seated in a comfortable seat. And just take a moment to bring the hands in front of the heart, honoring yourself for showing up, for all the work you've done, for sticking to it. It's a challenging one. And bring the hands to the third eyes the eyes of sees within. May I continue to be kind to myself as I'm kind to others. Bring the hands to the top of the lips. May I continue to speak kind of others as I speak kindly of myself. Bring the hands to the seventh chakra. Honoring the founders of yoga for all the wisdom they have instilled in us. For the light for the teachings i bow to the light and love within each and every one of you namaste warm up your hands find warmth find more energy breathe into it and place it on the eye Open the eyes gently. Look at a particular spot that is not moving. Get acclimated to the light, to the senses. Namaste. All right. Namaste, everyone. Thank you once again for joining me in this one hour of power yoga. Without further ado, let's roll our mat out and let's come with an open mind to have fun. This will be a very challenging pose. We're going to move the legs, we're going to open the shoulders. I want you to know this is for you to show up. And when you show up, that is one aspect. And then when you stay committed, that's another aspect. And when you simply return to Shavasana, the final relaxation, you can plug back in and feel whole again. Now, you will have a laugh because I enjoyed a fun class, not too serious. Yes, the poses are quite challenging. But allow yourself to have a laugh and if the journey gets tough, take a child's pose. Yeah? Now, if you get any value from any of these classes, just subscribe because that helps me out. And also put a like or a thumbs down. But leave me comments. Give me constructive comments so that I can be better. Again, my name is Beth. I enjoy having all of you here. Namaste. Thank you.